What's good, y'all? It's receiver teacher back in with another class and session episode. Today we're going to be talking about how to make a diving catch, all right? Uh, obviously, you want to catch a ball in stride and go score if you can, but obviously there's going to be times where you have to dive, all right? So we're going to talk about the three non-negotiables to making a diving catch. So the first non-negotiable, you want to keep your eyes level so you can focus on the ball. Even when you're running downfield, your helmet might be banging all over the place, but you want to make a, uh, an effort to keep your eyes level so you can focus on the ball. My head is not just bobbing all over the right place. Um, I'm relaxing my eyes. My head is not just bobbing all over. Um, I'm right, so like Jerry was saying in that clip, you want to make an effort to keep your eyes on the ball at all times, all right? This is Kendall Wright, and you'll see his his head is level throughout this whole uh, the whole process of making this catch, all right? Even when he's sprinting downfield, tracking a ball, his eyes are on the ball at all times. All right, right here, this is another example. This is Robert Woods, all right? He's tracking the ball. His his head does not move at all, all right? He's, he's eyes on the ball, all right? And his head is level the entire time. And again, he's catching it where you can see it. That brings me to the next point. You want to have high hands so you can catch it where you can see it, all right? You want, want the ball to be in front of you as much as you can. All right, so right here, Mike Thomas actually makes a great adjustment. All right, he turns his body. That's very hard to do, especially these catches. And I want you to pay attention to how he tracks this ball into his hands, all right? So now he's turned around, all right, and he's got high hands. He doesn't let the ball drop down here, all right, and lose sight of the ball for a split second as it crosses your eyesight, all right, but instead he brings his hands up, all right, so he can track it right into his hands, all right? So he's not losing track of the ball. All right, I hope you can see that. Right, and he sees the ball the entire time through the catch. All right, so again, keep a level head, and that'll help you track the ball with high hands. All right, and lastly, all right, you don't want to land on the ball because it can easily pop free on impact. It's not secure. Weight can, like, force the ball out through your arms. You know, it's just not ideal, all right? So you want to rotate onto your back. All right, don't leave it up to chance. A ref can't see that you have this ball secured. Right here, it's, you know, it's not that secured. And then it hits the ground. Who knows what that ball is doing right now? And then eventually when he turns around, he's still kind of fighting with it. He's trying to secure it, you know, and this was actually not a catch. So make sure to rotate to your back or your side. All right, when the ball's in the air, rotate your body. All right, and land on your back or side where the ball is protected. And there's no chance of this ball coming out. All right, so rotate to your back or side. Don't be bobbleheading, all right? Keep a level head, all right? Stay level-headed throughout the entire catch process, all right? So my eyes are on the ball the entire time. I'm not, you know, boom, boom. I'm not distracted by the defenders near me. All right, I can see this guy coming, but I don't take my eyes off the ball, all right? Because then you're not going to catch the ball anyways, and you're going to take a hit, all right? So, and then step two, second non-negotiable, catch it where you can see it, all right? High hands. Don't let it drop past your eyesight so you don't lose it for, you know, a split second because that could make the difference between a catch and uh, a drop, all right? And then step three, the fall. All right, make sure you're falling in a way that secures the ball. Don't land on the ball. Um, you know, don't land on the ball. It could easy pop, easily pop free like we talked about. But make sure to rotate to your side or your back. All right. Um, so that's it for today's video. That's how to make a diving catch. Again, I hope uh, I'm not doing this to, you know, act like I'm unreal. All right, so that's it for today's video, how to make a diving catch. Now, again, it's, it's a bit of a, a different video because, obviously, if you can catch it in stride, then do that. Uh, you always want to score a touchdown. But, you know, there's going to be times like this where it's out of your reach. Maybe you got a safety coming where you just got to secure the catch, all right? Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Drop a comment what you want to see in the future. And uh, follow us on all platforms at Receiver Teacher. We're just going to keep pumping out the best. Uh, receiver content we can. All right, peace out.